Hello and welcome. Okay, this is a short tutorial, or I'm going to try to make it short, on DVD Architect, how to work the menus and stuff. My next video uh, will be on uh, Windows Movie Maker, how to downsize your files, uh, like gigabytes down to megabytes. Okay, anyway, uh, when you want to do videos here, uh, if this is something in here, you just want to go to New, just click on New and I'm just still trying to get familiar with this thing so anyway I don't have a right DVD in the burner so I'll go as far as I can with it okay let's get started what you want to do is go down in your uh, like your explorer here make sure it's highlight explorer now you do have themes and different things but I will get to that next tutorial because I don't know much about this yet now actually I'm going to use this one I'm going to double click it okay that's cool uh, they have a, quite a few little selections here which is, looks pretty cool that was look like the original one alright this is like on different like whatever you want it to be I just now discovered this as I was making this tutorial anyway let's just go with this one right up here okay what you're going to do is go back to explore go to wherever your videos are uh, I'm going to go to my videos and okay I don't have none uh, let's go to desktop and my mom and my son news okay we're going left whoops I had to stop it okay uh, left click and hold drag it in your uh, thing up here and it will be like that say I went on oh okay when it's like that you just want to get into this screen here right click now the menu okay I'm a I left click inside okay like I left click on the menu now I mean uh, yeah and then I'm a right click on my mouse inside this little box here now I'm gonna go all the way down to edit text and I'm gonna hit the backspace key if it ain't highlighted just hit backspace until the letters are gone I'm gonna put mom and son uh, newscast let's just put that now you can change all this like left click uh, back here and hold it down and drag it now I can go down here uh, uh, let's see hold on one second okay I'm trying to find how do you do colors okay here it is right here over here on the left you can always take the movie mouse back right there move it over a little bit just to see what you got right there and this is your colors right here now what you're going to do is left click on there I'm just going to pick, say, a red color. Now I'm going to go to OK. And there's a nice color. Now I'm going to go down, or if you want to change the size, hit that auto box and go to like 20. Okay, that shrunk it. I don't want it 20. I'm going to put it at, say, whoop, too big, 37. I'm going to go to 28. There we go. Then don't click in here, just left click anywhere out in this blue area or whatever screen it looks like make sure it's you're not clicking on the video or not just kind of go out here and left click okay now I'm gonna click back in here because I want it even with my video one time I'm gonna left click once anywhere in here I'm gonna left click and I'm gonna drag it about where I know I can put it down here I can put it wherever but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of get it Let's see, I kind of want a little even. Say right, whoop. okay, say right there. Now there's another one that's on your video right here. And what I want to do is, let's see, left click. I'm going to go down to where it says, okay, make sure, okay, like, make sure you right click in here one time. Then you're going to stay in this box. Left click, go down to edit text and I can edit that text but what I'm going to do I'm going to make that a little bit bigger there's 18 okay it's too big for that uh, let's try 14 uh, it's still a little too big let's go to 12 uh, it's too small 
let's just go to the 14 yeah I can change that color if I want it to but yeah just for sake, I'm just not gonna mess with it. Anyway, I'm gonna go out here and click. Uh, I'm gonna go now since I'm finished with it. Now, oh, uh, I don't have another video, but anyway, you can take your other videos where they're, if they're in your videos, you can put one here, put one here, one here, one here down. You know, just make sure you got enough space on your DVD. Don't go over 4.7 gigabytes, or you know, unless you have a dual layer. DVD ROM. Uh, anyway, because it's a dual layer DVD ROM, it's like two layers. It's, it'll burn on the top and bottom. Okay, anyway, go up here, uh, save. Unless you want to make some, but I'm just going to do mom and son newscast. Vid video. I'm gonna hit click on save so I don't lose it for next time if I ever want to come back to it. Go to make DVD right here. Click on this one up here. Now you can do preview, see what it's gonna look like. Let's click on that first. Go to preview as you can see. And then you can always actually see how that mouse changes. You can click on it. And I'll just hit stop. Now, if anybody has a tutorial on how to, why does this keep coming up? Where did my video go? I uh, appreciate it. Just give me some uh, little comments. Let me know about that. Because uh, I've tried all these buttons. I've tried menu button, enter button, resume. But anyway, let's get back to the tutorial here. Okay, go back. Okay, go right here. Just click make DVD. Uh, prepare the current project to a specified folder that's if you want to put it in a folder uh, but go ahead and click burn now this is I can't go too far but anyway uh, right here you want to look right here free storage space and selected folder 251.5 gigabytes that's actually on my hard drive uh, I'm gonna go to next now right here I really I guess I wouldn't really have to worry about all this stuff right there but I usually don't worry about all that. I just okay. Like, well, actually, estimated project size. Hundred. See, I can't really tell, but it says 4.7 gigabytes. That would be like on my C, uh, DVD drive. 148.5 uh, megabyte is the file size of that video I got. Anyway, I'm gonna click next. This is gonna come up now. You can change this, like say. Uh, uh, newscast it can't be a very long because as you can see it goes right to there all right anyway cast uh vid video news now the little dash underscore spaces it does that automatically when you space it it's let's leave this alone and all this alone uh that's where we'll write it to but anyway burn this just go to i'm pretty sure it's next but it hasn't or no finished that's right and it'll show you what DVD you got. But anyway, you go to finish. And there you go. It's going to start burning. Now, it's not burning. It's just rendering. Okay, so I don't know why it says I have files written to the CD. Because I don't even have a CD in there. But anyway, you get the message how to uh, do this. So, anyway, I hope that... This, actually, I'm going to go ahead and just do this tutorial now. On about Windows. Okay, this is the next second tutorial. Because I'm going to do this video all in one. As I got longer than 15 minutes to upload to YouTube. Which that's very nice of them. And YouTube, thank you very much. Alright, anyway, let's go to Windows Media Player. Uh, excuse me. Go to Start. Go to All Programs. Look in here for Windows Movie Maker. And left click there. And Windows Movie Maker will open up. What you're going to do is go right here where it says import video. Okay, I already got a video selected. It's just a sample. Well, uh, no, I take that back. I'm going to go to my other video because it's one. Okay, right here I got news, mom and Brandon, my son. Okay, I'm going to left click one time on that. I have no idea what that noise was. 
Uh, anyway, I'll left click one time and it's all already down there. I'm going to go click on import and this will take a while. I'll go ahead and pause the video and I'll be right back. Okay, now that the file has uh, rendered here, okay, what you want to do is just left click in this video. You're going to take this down, drag it in this timeline. Okay, now if your timeline looks like this, uh, go to where it says show storyboard right here and left click it so it looks like this. It's a little easier to work with, uh, especially if you're new to this. <laughs> Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and left click the video, drag it down in there. Okay, now we got the video down here. Wait till it turns into a picture, I think. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, there it goes. Now, so you have to wait till it turns into like that. Okay, now this is what you want to do. Okay, go up to where it says right here import video left click it okay look for it on your drive and all this stuff you know how to go through it in your C drive or my documents your videos blah 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 alright which it's already here now I'm gonna go news mom and Brandon left click one time and it's already highlighted here just leave that alone just hit import uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that is not right. That is not right, I'm sorry. Jeez. Okay, anyway. Just left click on, just, okay. I'm sorry, I messed up. Like I said, you take that and drag it down there. You're gonna go where, it, go to file. Excuse me, go to file. Left click there. Go down where it says save movie file. And it's going to pop up the Save Movie Wizard, Movie Location. Uh, just leave this highlighted where it says My Computer right there. And what you're going to do, you're going to go down where it says Next. And you're going to go up here where it's highlighted there. You're going to name that Mom and Son Newscast. And uh, it's already at My Videos. And what you're going to do is just go right here, click Next. Best quality for playback, or you can show more choices. But anyway, as you can see, estimated space required, 29.54 megabytes. Estimated disk space available on Drive C, shows you there. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go show more choices up here. Now, I can best fit to file size. I can cut that down, but I'm not going to mess with that just going to do it right here leave it at best quality uh, and as you know this video was let's see see what this well let me cancel this and I'll show you what the size of this video was okay it, the size of it was 511.92 megabytes and what I did on the video, if you go to your videos, go to my computer, look up, uh, okay, document settings, open, all users, desktop, okay, huh, okay, let's go back here, it'll be my name, like desktop, okay, I'm going to write, take that video, left clicked it one time well actually sometimes it'll highlight automatic and as you can see it says five size is 511 megabytes uh, but anyway we're gonna go back here go where it says file save movie file next uh, news video I'm just doing that for quickness do it the short way uh, next and as you can see, it, it dropped the space down to 29.54. Now, I can change that right here. I can change that to, say, uh, I can change it. Okay, it goes only up to 36. So I'm going to go back down to 29 at what it's recommended. 
Okay, I'm going to click on next right here. And it's going to go ahead and save the movie. And uh, while it's doing that, I'll let it render, uh, go ahead and save the movie. I'll be right back. Okay, and now we are done with the save movie wizard here. Uh, play movie when I click finish. Eh, let's just uncheck that, and I'll do that after after a minute. Okay, I'm going to click finished, and that's done. I'm going to minimize uh, Windows Movie Maker. I'm going to go to start my computer. Oh, good grief, I'm sorry. Start my documents. And let's see where my videos are. There it is, double click. And there's the video. As you can see, it's 28.1 megabytes. Let's play it. I uh, know you can't hear it because I have my headphones set on. But anyway, it does work. So anyway, that's how you downsize your videos. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial did help. And it looks like as long as this video was, I'm going to have to downsize it before I can upload it to YouTube. Okay, thank you for watching and bye-bye.